My name is Molly, I am a fan of the brick, and today we're taking a look at a vintage Lego catalog. So a couple of months ago I did a video where I looked at a 1993 Lego catalog. Today's Lego catalog isn't quite that old. So in late 2007 I went to the Lego store, bought a few things. I also went on Lego.com and got a couple little things, mostly like household items, Lego magnets, that kind of thing. I had no intention of buying, you know, sets. I wasn't going to expand my collection. I just liked Lego because of the nostalgia factor. But then I got this in the mail and everything changed. I'm a huge Indiana Jones fan. So my first reaction upon getting this in the mail was, holy crap, Lego Indiana Jones? And I was like, okay, are they going to have Last Crusade sets? Are they going to have Last Crusade sets? There's a Last Crusade set! So that was the day I gave Lego my money and never stopped. So I thought it'd be fun to take a look at this today. I do not think I've looked through it in about at least 10 years. I have a feeling this is going to be an exercise in me trying not to cry for not having bought certain sets. So on the cover we have Indiana Jones. I didn't ever get this set. Um, I got a, quite a few of the Indiana Jones sets. This was like the first wave of them that came out. There was only one Last Crusade set, and then they came out with two more. I have all of them. I have never opened them. It is true. They remain in the box to this day. I don't know why, because I'm weird. All right, so on the first page, we have a lovely set from Raiders of the Lost Ark with some cool moving features. This was a really cool set. I kind of regret not getting it, but on page two we have the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade set, which, okay, I bought two of these. So I did open one of them. I think I technically gave it to my brother, but then I think I took it back. So here's another one from Raiders of the Lost Ark. And then this one. Next up, okay, we got City. As usual, there is a police station, a couple of helicopters and things, and then some cargo things, trains and planes, a lovely shade of green. Ah, fire rescue. Race to the rescue with the fire boat, the fire truck, or the off-road fire rescue. Oh, this is kind of cool though, the fire hovercraft. I don't remember that one. Hovercraft can move in any direction. Here's Lego City with a car wash and a Lego City Harbor with a really cool boat and a big crane carrying a box. And there's a passenger train with a track for only $89.99, which is kind of a good deal. Now here's an airport. You can get some train tracks. Ah, we've got pirates or castle and pirates. So. It looks like the castle uh, storyline going on at that time was knights versus skeletons. So there's even skeleton horses. Hmm. Okay. And a cool pirate ship with, yeah, wow. I don't remember this at all either. I do love me pirates. And then there's another castle. This is called the skeleton tower. Oh, I have this piece, this skeleton piece. I found that in one of those bulk dumps one time and I was kind of wondering what that was from. Oh, a very nice large castle here. Um, the King's Castle Siege. Which, pretty cool castle. We've got a drawbridge. There's a dragon attacking it, because why not? I don't remember this either. This was the space theme of 2008, Mars Mission. Not as beautiful, I would say, as Ice Planet, but then again, what is? Ah, next we have the Aqua Raiders, Tiger Shark Attack, ooh, nice shark. Hmm, the Crab Cruiser, the Aqua Base Invasion, I really like the tentacles on this giant squid. Uh, <laughs> we have Spongebob Squarepants. I'm always finding Spongebob um, leftover pieces in the bins at Bricks and Minifigs. Here's like, well, it's not quite the center of the magazine yet, but we're getting into the sort of like non-sets pages. And they're telling you about how you can get a Lego Brickmaster Rewards Calendar. Or you can buy the table and chairs with the three spots. I always thought this table and chair thing was sort of hilarious because 
it gave each of the three kids a, a very ample space to build, but uh, the container for holding the pieces left a little bit to be desired. It was very small. I remember the movie Mr. Magorium's Wonder Emporium, and I did not know they made a set for it. That was a little, yeah, little set tie in with that movie. Oh, okay. Here's the part that's going to make some of my viewers start to tear up because these buildings here, they are so sought after by people who did not collect them at the time. These are the original modulars. So we have the holy grail of modulars, the cafe corner and Market Street right here. You can put them together. They can be friends. Right there. See? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Like, they didn't even have Green Grocer yet. They didn't even have Grand Emporium yet. They just had these two. Oh. And now they're worth a snap ton of money. Here comes the girly Lego. Back then, girly Lego was called Belleville. And of course, very pink. The Belleville dolls are like a little creepy. They were bigger than minifigs. This is just randomly on the Belleville page, but it's building fun with Lego mosaic. It includes a transparent base plate. That transparent base plate is cool. I have one of those. I think it's neat that they offered that. Yeah, I think if I was had to go between Paradisa and Belleville, I would pick Paradisa. Then we have some sort of, oh, the Lego creator sets, which they've produced many of these over the years and they've most of the time been really great little satisfying builds. So there's a house and a big rig and a beach house. Oh, I kind of remember the beach house. And the model townhouse, which is actually very nice. All right, we have a chess set and some storage things, some Harry Potter keychains, the Lego classic magnets. See, this is what I bought. I bought these and then they started sending me these catalogs. I still have those magnets. There's a Lego hobby train. Ooh, it was on sale. It was $99.99 and they were selling it here for $49.98. There's the order form. And you could get a Lego City gift bag for $4.99. Wow. Here's the uh, elements you could buy pages. Can you imagine like, I would like to order 25 of this head. All right, we have now ExoForce having jungle adventures. We got some race cars, some cool Bionicle stuff. Whoa, there's like four pages of Bionicle, wow. Ah, here's another one that shot through the roof in price after it went away. This is the Eiffel Tower. And if you're thinking, wait a minute, I just saw an Eiffel Tower for sale on lego.com not long ago. That's a different Eiffel Tower. This one was the 2008 or early whatever, 2000s. Eiffel Tower. It sold for $199.99. And I remember when this went away, they were going for upwards of a thousand dollars. There's a Ferrari. Here is, I did not remember this either. It was a Lego Ferris wheel. And again, not the Ferris wheel that came out, you know, six or so years ago. It's a different one. It's blue and yellow. It's not quite as pretty. There's a monster dino. And then we got all the power function things. Those are always fun. Technic, giant $150 set called the Motorized Bulldozer. But here's Mindstorms. I did not remember that Mindstorms has been around this long. People do amazing things with Mindstorms. If you ever get to go to a Lego convention and watch the great ball contraptions, especially a lot of them use uh, Lego Mindstorms, not all of them, but some of them. And uh, people do other things like uh, at this last convention, you might've seen there's a Rubik's Cube solver. It actually solves them in just a matter of minutes. It makes me sad. No, it's awesome actually. But yeah, they use Mindstorms. Pretty incredible. All right, here's Star Wars. It's funny because Star Wars for a lot of people is the theme that got them back into Lego. More Star Wars. How many pages of Star Wars are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There are sixteen pages 
devoted to Star Wars in this catalog. Like that's the entire rest of the book starting now. The Ultimate Collectors Millennium Falcon. I know some people are drooling over that. Price tag $499. Worth a little bit more now. This one. This one on the back. This is one I really wish I'd gotten. This was the town plan for the 50th anniversary. It reminded me of the square from Back to the Future, but it was $149.99, and in 2008, there was absolutely no inkling in my brain of ever spending that much on a Lego set. And I was actually pretty good about that until the uh, Medieval Village came out, but even that wasn't that much. So I kind of wish I bought this one. It's beautiful, and I remember the thing was like it had a gold brick in it. Oh, three gold bricks, hello. Yeah, I wish I bought that. And for monetary purposes and or bragging rights, I wish I'd bought these guys. So if you could go back in time and order five things out of this catalog, what would you order? I think for me, it would definitely be the two modulars and the 50th anniversary set and the two larger Indiana Jones sets, the uh, Temple Escape and Indiana Jones and the Lost Tomb. That's just me. Because those were cool. And you can't get them anymore. And some people are talking about there might be another Indiana Jones movie. And although I really kind of don't want that, unless some miracle happens and it's actually really good. But if they do, there is a silver lining, and that is Lego might start doing more sets. And you might get some more Last Crusade sets because they have a lot of missed opportunities. There's the whole beginning part with the train and young Indiana Jones on the train with all the stuff. There's the underground catacombs. There's the whole booby trap sequence at the end. There's with all the grails. So maybe that could happen someday and make me happy. I don't know. Thank you, 2008 catalog from January. You are the catalog. That set this whole crazy thing in motion. Well, I suppose it was inevitable. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed getting to see this cool 12 year old Lego catalog and all the beauties within. Remember, you can always follow me on Instagram or Twitter as Mo Make Stuff Up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Bye.